Baba, you're too much. This God is too much. Oh my God. Because of His grace. My Before we start proper, very 
principal song in the security. I will teach you only one line because the other lines, the other lines are one word. Oh look that Laja Moa Lele. Oh look be Ala Olaja. Oluba Laja Moa Lele. Praise God. Everybody say it. From this side now. Our papa is from this side. <laughs> Please come or come. We don't we don't bite the bone for you. <laughs>
Bible, the secretary. God bless you, sir. Wonderful Jehovah. There is none to be compared to him. All over the world. There is nothing, no power that you can compare to this our God. The people of Coco. I want Mekona Wakania. Mekona Wakania this evening. So that you will be saved. I'm not going to waste time. But permit me to read from Romans chapter 10, verse 1, verse 13 and 14. Romans chapter 10, verse 1 says, Brethren, my heart desire. Interpreter in Nishakiri, please come forward. Wherever you are, please come forward. What we are trying to do now, we want the message to seek through the heart of men, women. There should be no barrier, say, because it is English language. Shakiri, please come forward. It's coming. Fast again. Brethren, my heart desire and prayers Nisha to go. People. Is that they may be saved. Verse 2 says, For I bear them witness. I bear them witness. That they have a zeal for God. But not according to the knowledge of God. In verse 13, no for whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And the question is how shall then, how can then call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe if no one preached to them? People of Coco, that is why we are here since yesterday. We have a desire for you. And I know that you will run into this way that lead to life. Yesterday, the message was very clear. There is no other way by which man can be saved. It is only in Jesus Christ. No, you are talking about Jesus Christ or Luke I saw you that listening to me this evening. The opportunity is in your hands. Don't miss today again. I don't know about Yesterday our Lord Bishop was appealing passionately. All out of when I know about Shabbat you to give your life to Jesus. And the salvation. Don't you know? Don't you to buy? Don't you burn off for? It is the same thing we want to tell you this evening. Or okay, we are going to get a big bag and all that way. Come, what? Time is running out. He ran away. All that is happening around the world today shows that time is running out. We don't know what you know. You are the best. You are the best. You are the best. The only hope now is in Jesus Christ. Hey, you go to the now. 
church in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, do not wait any time. Mark Birama Birage, we want to pray. And ever good And the message will come again today. Or for whatever one on way. And you'll be called to God. I work with Edward Bullish. Don't pay. I do my for a shame. Come. What? Let us pray. That good shit. You manifested your power. We claimed this land for you yesterday and you took it all over. But by God, those that you wanted to save yesterday were saved. And there are still many more in Coco that need the salvation. Since we cannot move on without you, we call upon you, Lord. Come. Saturate the ground with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. That anyone who is going to surrender his or her life tonight and he come into this arena will receive a gift from above. Yeah. Gift of good health. Yeah. Gift of deliverance. Yeah. Gift of the greatness of the mighty hand of God. The love of the almighty will rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear yeah. Lord, we pray that by your mercy start this program this evening. Yeah. Go with us in this program this evening. Amen. And at the end of it all, we will return to our praise to you again. Amen. Take our preeminence, O Lord. For in Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. Are we give the microphone to our music director. You will lead us as he will direct on the high praise ministration for about five minutes. Why this high praise ministration will be going on? Our brethren from Ekiti, you should be preparing yourself to come and present your playlets. Everything we want them to work according to how they we plan them. All to the glory of the Lord. So as the music We'll be going on, our equity brethren. Please, you will come to the platform. Once you stop the music, you continue your playlets Check. to the people of Coco and every one of us here present. Thank you. Check. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Before you were born, music has been existing. You don't know like that. Sarate is here where? Ole, here are you. I know it's here. And you will share what we know. So tonight, no way. As we are going to dance in the Shakiri style, I want you to look at what the Shakiri around you. We can see how many Shakiri are coming. I want to know what's here. Look at the meditator. We can go. If you don't want to dance like anybody there, I want you to dance like my brother that is here. The song we want to sing says, What do you mean they go out juju hands? Don't look for When are my blessings? Waiting at the fine for Juju House. If you are a Shakiri person, maybe in the morning they preach to you. And you gave your life to Jesus. Please, there is a seat for you inside the arena. He
by the end of this journey, you will understand. And you will be able to choose the right way. Please, life follow him. Son of man, follow me. No, wait, wait. Let's follow go together. Me. Follow me. Oh, oh. Yes. Where are my boys? The intent of confusion. I want to see you here right now. <laughs> yes. You are welcome. Good to see you. The intent of distraction. I want to see you here right now. <laughs> Yes, I can see that. <laughs> I want you to note something. We have a very short life to live in this world. And before we leave this world, or before the world comes to an end, we must accomplish our mission. <laughs> Wait, I want you to also know this. You must go out there to destroy people. Now, if I may ask you, how many hours do you use to study the Bible? Master, I use 10 hours. Just 10 hours? What about you? I use 10 hours. 10 hours to study the word of God in order to build up against Jesus. Oh! Sorry, okay. boss. Sorry, boss. Yes. We are not here for that now. Now, let us go to the real business. You, Satan of distraction, yes, you will go out there. There are many people that have been in this righteous way. I want you to deprive them from the way of the Lord. I want you to lose their confidence in the Lord. I want them to come and serve me so that at the end of this world, we may end up in hell together. <laughs> yes, over to you. You will go out there. You will see their heart. You will confine them to rust. You will kill them. Yes, we don't come to this world, but to do what? To steal and to destroy. <laughs> Boss, we are always at your work. We are going to be restless. We are not going to have rest. Not until we accomplish our mission. Yes. Thank you very much. And I believe now that you are all ready. Don't destroy these people. They are ours. They are not God. <laughs> yes. Within them, even in this land of Coco, many people were at being within themselves. They are confused whether to serve the Lord or not. But you go there now. Consume their hearts. Let it be ours. Now you can go. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. Yes, you can go. I am Satan. I am given this word. I am given this word to do to my places. And I'm very assured that all of you here are mine. And I know my age before I got married. And we are prepared for our eight years anniversary. Eight years? Glory be to God. Hmm, my dear, I will be time I give you sitting at the front of the car, moving up and down without child. And we are celebrating any ceremony with people. Is that not good?
is coming. See where my dear. Our old time is coming. Let's keep waiting. Good day to you, sir. Good day, sir. You're welcome. The spirit within me tells me that you have an issue with your marriage. Yes, that is what we are discussing. Which means the spirit within me and the one within you, they are one. Yes, they are one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> This issue. Please, man of God, show us the way. <laughs> Will you be able to do it? Yes, show us the way. <laughs> Good. Do you have sugar, daddy? The cocoa bar? Sugar dad? Sugar boy? Sugar boy, yeah? Red sugar boy? No, I do have. I trust my wife. She's she has paid me. And then you continue open in God. Hmm. Why don't you make use of the people that are working with, with you? Your gate man? Yes. Gate man, very strong. Yes. Your gate man, you can make use of it. Yes. Why don't you make use of it? Your driver. <laughs> Your driver, yes. Your driver is also there. We continue trusting in God. Hmm. Okay. May I help you out? Uh, wait. I think that our second driver is very good. My husband, what I'm telling driver, look at me very well. How ever. No. Transform it into your life. Then you return it back to your husband. But there's not a bad in it. Bad in it. No, my husband, I cannot do it. Please, my wife, let's do it. I cannot do it. Please. I'll call you later. I will help you out. This issue of your unfruitfulness has broken. It has come to help. I promise you. Have my card. Just call me at any time. Tonight, we call you something else. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. Smoking away my destiny. Unable to stop it. I will finish you. I will finish you today. And when my mother gave birth to me, I was celebrated. I was never.
best possible stand a failure to your generation. Yes! I am a failure! And I am disgraced to my generation! <laughs> Can't you see? Even if I give birth, what I will be doing? Drinking, smoking, and progress! I am a disgrace to my generation! Solution. Yes, yes. There is solution <laughs> for every problem. There is always a solution. The best solution for you now is to finish it all. Finish it all. I should keep. I should keep myself. <laughs> should, is it, is it, I will not keep myself. No. You see what you do? Yes! I will finish you! Even I'm a science student! I am a chemical reserve! I will miss it! I will break it off! <laughs> yes! Question, please. Ask a question. If we take a look at the drunkard, we knew the end of his life. So he, he later died. But the corpus, so after that, you haven't shown me anything concerning them. So what was their end? Though they started well, as many have deviated from the way, very strong. Angel of Satan that I call himself a pastor. Kai. 
for some of them. Father, it's because you are confused. That is why you are unable to see what you need to see. So many people transform themselves as angel of the light. Yes, yes, it is true. And now put on white, put on color, but yet they destroy life. They package themselves. They are life savior, but they are life destroyer. Oh God, she contacted it and transferred to the husband. They were inflicted, and their life was cut short. The devil kills them and destroys them. But Father, so all this you are seeing, they are complex. It shows. If that is the case, then no one can enjoy it. That is the result of confusion. When you are confused, you are deceived. The short moments of joy, of enjoyment, you will love it. What a wisdom! Mm, 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 mm. The way of Satan will not be like the way of the Lord. People prefer short moment of enjoyment than long joy. They prefer rituals than walking themselves. They sold their parents just to enjoy for a moment. So, they will kill their children just because of enjoyment. But they are confused. Son of man, I'm so I have no time. This world is full of darkness. But I will go back to your question. All right. You said, Is there anybody that can make it in this world? Yes. Well, I'm telling you, out of a million, you see one or two souls. Those that are on the way and you are suffering, it may sound lonely. The joy is coming. Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith, having endured the sufferings of this presence. Wait for the joy ahead. Please, do I have an opportunity to ask more questions? Ask the question. Hey, sir, the devil even repent. The devil? Yes. He has been down and is looking, searching around like the road. How will the devil study the Bible for 10 hours? How many hours do you use to study your Bible? <laughs> no wonder. I need to show you one thing. Son of man. So we still have revelation. Oh God. Oh God. No. All glory is yours. Thank you, Father. Again? Another disappointment? Oh God. What is going wrong with me? What is this problem that I've been facing? How do I go about it? And I'm sure I am on the right way. I am walking in this way, the way of Jesus. Why are all this happening to me? I have fasted and I have prayed. Even I just finished 30 days and 30 nights fasting and prayers. But still, things are not working well. Disappointment. All my appointed have been terminated. That is your experience. How am I even sure that the Lord has answered my prayers? God has not heard you. And he will never hear you. Yes! He will never hear you. You will die of poverty. Why? Why would God hear me? Come on. What a rhetorical question. How 
would you read it in the book of Psalm, chapter 51, verse 5? I am sharpened in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. How will God hear you when you are not righteous? Even the book of Isaiah established it. According to the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 15. Do you offer your hands in prayer? Oh, yes. And I seize my hair from you. Because your hands are full of blood. <laughs> God can never hear you. Blood? Blood? But I haven't killed anyone in my life. It shows you are a kid. <laughs> you haven't killed anyone. Yes, you are right. But your ancestors, I mean your forefathers, shed innocent blood and you reap it. Or how would you write it? In the book of the children of me. Chapter 5, verse 9. Behold, I am the Lord your God. I visit the transgression of the son of the father over the son upon the third and fourth generation and of those that hate me. Yes, if your false fathers had shed innocent blood, how would you be saved? Yes, you will reap it. Yes. I agree with you. Yes, of course, you don't have a choice. But I think I do. I think I do. I think I have a choice. It is written in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 1. For there is no condemnation anymore. For they that are in Christ Jesus. They that walk not by flesh, but by the spirit of the living God. It is also written in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 9. <laughs> Are you challenging yourself? That is ridiculous. Look at you. Remember, you are hungry. Don't fail to. And let me tell you something. Satan is the god of this world. You won't receive anything from us. I repeat, you will die of poverty. Poverty? Yes. Satan is the god of this world? Yes. Yes, it may be. Satan may be the God of this world, but I am not of the world. It is written in the book of Psalm 34, verse 1, that the earth is the Lord and everything therein. It is written in the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 19, that if you shall hide to the voice of the Lord, you shall eat the fruit of the land. It is also written in the book of Psalm 33, verse 1, that <laughs> yes. I may be lucky. I may be lucky. But it is written in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, that I should not be anxious of anything, but in prayers with supplications and thanksgiving, I should present my request to the Lord. <laughs> no, you've mistaken it. Don't you get it? It is written in the Bible that I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. I will have compassion to whom I will have compassion. What if your, if your name is not in the God's list? My name in the God list? Yes. That God will not have compassion on me? That's all this. If my name is not in the God list, I will face it there myself. Ah, it is written in the book of Revelation.
Your crowns are ready. Your hinders are ready. The devil is set. Wake up to your eternal rest. Wake up to the unlimited joy. And I am waiting for you, those that are on the way. Be courageous. Be bold. <laughs> we shall see in the name of Jesus. And so many people have been de deceived to be drunk, to, to, to be drinking. The temple now, you can say, the whole place is charged. The atmosphere is charged. So, you will swim with that spirit. Put your hands together for the King of Glory. As I stand here, behind me, a wonderful great man of God. 
Lord Bishop, you're welcome, sir. I also want to appreciate the president of this great association. The vice president, the secretary, the escorts, and everyone. And I want to say a big God bless you to everyone. I must confess that this is actually a rare privilege. And I want to say I am honored to be here. And God, whom we have all come to seek, will not disappoint us. You may have seen great things, but you are about to see greater things. If I were you, I would say amen. Like I did there are wonderful great men of God behind me here. And when you take a good look at them, you, you see that I'm a small boy among them. Why game and so if not for grace, I would have told the secretary, please give the man to another. But somebody said, thank God for grace. Can I hear that again? <laughs> grace is a gracious thing. Shall we bow down our head? Father, we thank you. Lord, we honor you. It's another time. You have taken us through one journey. You are about to take us through another journey. Lord, my lips are lips of clay. I am a mere mortal. But because of you, I am not just ordinary anymore. Therefore, I yield myself to your Lordship. The precious Holy Spirit, you will speak the word of life through me. And at the end of the day, everyone will say, Thank God I came. In Jesus' name. Amen. Take a look at the person sitting or standing by you and say, Thank God you are here. And I also want you to say, Congratulations. Give back, give back, give back, give it. The play like we just watched. Yes, I saw that when they saw the brethren who uttered the demons were saying, You, you, you were saying it back. It was a play. Amen. Amen. <laughs> And my friend said to fear. Oh, that was it. Oh, what? Oh, me, wah, wah, wah. And thank God for His love. My dear friends, I want you to be very, very attentive to me. I want to tell you a brief story. And that I will cap it up with some scriptures. When God made man, He made man to live a pleasant life. He did not want man to have pain. 
And so he created a beautiful place called the Garden of Eden. Listen to me. I released man there. Genesis chapters 1 and 2 are very perfect chapters in the Bible. Genesis Satan having seen that God had lost man so much was not happy and so he decided to destroy the joy of God listen to me and follow me in this journey and so one day he came into the garden and met with the woman Eve and then began to have dialogue with the woman you know what happened at the end of the day and so he, he kind of tried to destroy the joy of God and so when God drove Adam from the garden, he was happy. He felt he had won. He was rejoicing. But I want you to understand that God was not happy about it. And so generations began. In the course of giving birth to children, another man rose up and said, I'm going to please God. His name was Enoch. When Enoch grows up, Satan was not happy. And so in the course, in the history of Enoch, he lived and pleased the Lord. After Enoch had lived and pleased the Lord, the devil decided to stay another confusion. In the days of Noah, he did his best possible to also steal the joy of God. But he had forgotten that no matter what he did, and no matter what he does, he cannot steal God's joy. And so in the days of Noah, he stirred the world against God. And God got angry. And everyone was against God. And God said he was going to destroy the world he created. Satan was dancing at Jasco. He was happy that God was about to destroy the entire world he created. And when God looked from heaven downward, he saw a righteous man. By the name Noah. I pray that you will be the Noah today. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me, friends. Though God was still angry, He destroyed that world. But He preserved eight people. And from these eight people, He began to increase the earth again. And he got to a place, he sought for a man in Mesopotamia. And he called his name Abraham. And I said that is the Israelites are the first church of God on earth. And you must understand that Abraham was not a Hebrew, he was worshipping idols with his father Terah. How Abraham fought for with God, I can say. But he found favor with God. But I pray that somebody will find favor with God here today. And so from Abraham, God began a new generation. And so the first church on earth was given birth to. Isaac gave birth to Jacob. Isaac, Jacob. And the Hebrew nation began. Now through Abraham, the devil saw that people began to worship God again. Abraham, he decided to hamper the joy of God again. And so when Jacob went to Egypt, Jacob which is the entire family, he decided 
decided to enslave them. And so for over 400 years they were slaves. Satan was celebrating that he had imprisoned the children of God. The one day a boy was born. By the name Moses. And through him, God liberated his children. I pray that in this crusade tonight there shall be a Moses. A liberator of generations. God will use you to liberate your generation. And so it went on and on and on until between Malachi and Matthew. Between these two books, it was like God was silent. Somebody said that God was walking at something. Just the way God is walking at something for someone here to It doesn't matter what, what brought you. We have an encounter with the King of Kingston. And so one day, a young virgin had a visitation by an angel. And so this young lady, a child was born. But as at the time this child was born, there were kind of many religions. The sticks were there, the Pharisees were there, the Sadducees were there. Everyone trying to present a way to reach out to God. That child that was born by this virgin named Mary was growing. Oh my and it got to a time that God had to anoint him. When he had grown up as a man to begin his ministry, he saw the confusion that was all over the world. And then one day he Listen to this. I retire you will. Jesus did not say, Orisha Egi, I am away. Egi Alaru wish on a will. He said, Okaki, I am the way. I'm a wish on a way. There are many ways. I will give you a win on you. Today we have many ways. Oh, no way, it will give you a win on Several religions. The animists, the pagan will tell you he's serving his God, he wants to reach God through his idol. Other religious leaders will tell you the same thing. These are ways. There is a way. But don't know now, he said, I am the way. What does that imply? I want to believe that yesterday much was said about this. But suffice it that I portray on it a little. When Jesus said he is the way, he said he's the only rule. He is the only path. He is the only thoroughfare to get from earth to heaven. I hear people sing a song, la da la da la da eh. Lord Jesus is a Can we take it? La da la da la da eh. Lord Jesus is a understand what that song means. It does not imply that Jesus is a physical ladder. But what that song is telling us is that Jesus is the way to go. 
and we're not gonna get the orisha. Omo show bato waru. Many, many, many years back. A year to go nengi. A mission in America sent a missionary to to India. Ah, to go for orisha in America, I can't even hear you. I can't go with India. And for one year, that missionary could not convert our soul. No doka. Ah, to go so jewe. I name me you. He was recalled to America. And they were wondering why for a full year he could not convert our soul. I said, Robert Shambak and some others decided to go to India. It was a crusade grand like this. He was ministering. And the people were not disturbed. All he did, they were just just looking at him. And he found that there was only one thing that could turn these people to the Lord. I think either the man was blind or he was crippled. He was right there at the crusade ground. He asked them to bring the man to the platform just the way they were worshipping someone. I won't mention any religion here. But when that man was brought before them, all of you Shambak said, in the name of that religion they were worshipping, the father of religion, that the man should receive his miracle. Nothing happened. The people were watching. At the end of the day, no guru is saying the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Instantly, that man got his miracle. He didn't preach another message. Before he knew it, the platform was surrendered at people. They were willing to surrender their lives to the Lord. Jesus. I pray that the anointing of God will rest upon you. You will not only be here as a spectator, but God will use you for signs, wonders, and miracles in the name of Jesus. Because of time, in John chapter 10, verse 9, Jesus made another statement. He said, I am the door. I'm sure even if you live in one room, you may have more than one door in that room. And an apartment has more than one door. So there are many other doors. He didn't say I am a door or a door. He said I am the door. There cannot be D, two D. It must be one, the door. When I mean it, he said, without me, no one can go to the Father. I'm paraphrasing it. I, 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 who is the Father? The Lord God Almighty. Who created heaven Sunday? Today, you know the beauty of it is there. Do you know that we, God can do without us? Did you know that? Do you know that you are not a plus? I am not a plus to God. If God decides to destroy the earth today, do you know it will cost him nothing? What do I have? That I will say to God, I don't need him. Haven't you heard or seen people who are who, who, who live in air conditioned house and yes, they are hot and sweaty, perspiring? Now, if you say you don't need God, is there anybody who actually has everything? The richest man on earth today, does he have everything? The poorest man on earth today, doesn't he have something? 
Everyone has something. That's the truth about it. The shoe I am wearing, the richest man does not have it. So let me quickly run down the importance of Jesus as the way. I'll run it down. No, no. Pay attention to things. Without Jesus, the word we live in is doomed. No one can be saved without Jesus. You cannot receive salvation and be with God if you don't have Jesus. As for 12 tells us that. Without Jesus, your sins cannot be forgiven by God. That means your sins will be held against you. Hebrews 9.22 says, without shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. So the blood of Jesus was shed, that your sins and my sins be forgiven. So that we can have a place with God in God. Without Jesus, you will have no eternal life. That means you will live life without God. There are two places of eternity. Heaven and hellfire. The choice we make on earth determines where we will spend eternity. I tell, I tell people, that while you are on earth, you know whether you make heaven or not. Because your deeds will show that you make heaven on earth. Or earth. Roma, Roma 6.23 The witness of sin is dead. But the gift of God is what? Eternal life. That is the life that God wants you to have. Practical steps that must be followed to be saved. You must acknowledge you are a sinner. Nobody was born a saint. No one was born a saint. David said, In sin did my mother conceive me. And in sin she gave birth to me. So you and I were conceived in sin. And you and I were giving birth to him sin. So that automatically makes us sinners. Yes, you may be morally okay, but as long as you have not received Jesus as your Savior and Lord, you are wicked in the sight of God. You are condemned. Let me read this scripture so I don't look as if I didn't read any scripture. John chapter 3, verse 18. It's, it's because of time that I'm not really reading. John 3:18. He that believes. Even on him is not condemned. But he that believed not is condemned already. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Take a look at that word already. So whoever has not believed in Jesus is already condemned. To eternal termination. But because God loves you and I, God shall feel for a baby a son. Another danger people will face if they refuse to receive Jesus is eternal separation from God. In Luke 16, Jesus told us the story of Lazarus. He will look back. Time will not permit me to actually speak on that. But for those of you who are conversant with scripture, you know what happened between these two men. You know it better. And in Revelation chapter 20, after this woman point and I'll leave. Revelation. Revelation chapter 20, verses 11 to 15. Revelation. Please just let me read. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on him from whose face the earth and the heaven did what? Abba Father in Jesus precious name I have prayed.
Bamiya Yemuwa, this Christ that we are speaking to you about. I am here, that you might touch him. I am here, that if you draw closer, I come unto him, that he might give you a touch. A touch on you shall transform your life tonight. So leave whatever you are doing and come forward. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this moment. We bless you. Call your people to yourself. Prove yourself to the people of Coco in Jesus' name. Amen. Like I told you, Coco people, I have a dwarf to perform for you tonight. And the first one is what I'm going to start with. After that, we shall prove to you that God that Christ that we have spoken so much about what he, he is to your life. The Bible tells me that if you both can come out and give yourself to him you will have everything because he is the way to every good thing. He is the way to the of you. I want to let Coco people know we'll be talking of Christ and enough of Polisha. And when we talk about Christ and enough of Polisha, the opposite of him is the devil. Okay, I want to let people know that nothing like devil was created by God. Nothing like devil existed somewhere before. It is the hardness of hearts that that you cannot do without your creator. Whether you worship idol or not, The dangerous thing in it is that that when you do not come tonight, that the time you will be looking for him, you will not be able to find him. That is why it is necessary for you to come tonight to your creator. After man had delayed. His face. What do they do? They started looking for him. I cannot fail. I go and pray. I cannot fail. That, that will not be your portion tonight. No, you will start looking for God. And you will not be able to find him. Man started looking for his creator. And he This is the beginning 
of idolatry. Looking for his own head. Until finally, he will fall. That is how it is. Where To anybody who loves the Creator. Devil now presented himself. To man that he will leave man to his creator. And that is why you have all this devil. To him. Somebody who has no life to live is looking for your life that he might be able to live. That go 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 giving your life to him again. And people, men of the world, started to looking for way to reach their God. Some took uh, 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 and, and their way to reach God. Others took many other uh, uh, and their way to reach God. 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 And reach God. People are still looking for their maker. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to be able to be able to be able Not Abasima. Not Abasima. Not Oloku. Not Oloku. Not Mami Water. Not Mami Water. Not Ogo. Not Ogo. Not Olero. Not Olero. And not everyone you can think of. Not Olero. Not Olero. When we want, I am the only way. I am the 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 way. I Short of the glory of God. And they are not one It's only one way. And that is what we have come to preach to you. Jesus says, I am the way. I am the way. No other way. And you can get to your maker again. Except you can get to your maker again. Jesus. Jesus Christ. If you can accept him today, if you can embrace him today, then you, you, you will reach your maker. You will reach your maker. That is one, one aspect of Jesus being the way. The second aspect 
Take you enemy boo what way to your maker enemy boo what babu jenna against oh where see the way oh where it to now pleases God check ba he will tell you oh I give better take your glasses and begin to cut yourselves Buddha broke a pillar that is the wrong way on which one I give you all but Jesus way oh no reject. Way. Oh no, it's a way of love. Oh no, he hates killing. Hey, like a big bar, that is his way. Hey, if you're a big bar, what's your name? The only way, what's your name? Whatever you do, what's your name? Fornication. What's your name? It's a way of the Satan. Oh, hey, 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 Fornication. Is satanic way, but if you keep yourself, that is the way we are telling you about. God wants you to live all that evil way and follow the right way. That's the word of Christ. In the word of your behavior. Coco, they they watch away. Coco is blessed with this sea. Aja we, aja to check by water. Yesterday we saw a ship. I never want to learn a rock. We not do it. How much? Oh Lucy, with a ship. No, we not. That will burn to Coco. To what so much away? How much do you think it will bring to Coco? Oh Lord, go and move on. Aja we see. Yet Coco is full of bushes. No new building. When you get to other cities, you see competition of life. You see competition of building. Competition of new new thing. You see competition so many people. Only depot to you, but I can't make people live that way. Depot. Coco, are you hearing me? Ah, ja, Coco, how are you? What is happening to the numerical, numerical depot in Coco? Nike no chi, me, I can't make people live that way. Why is Coco still like this? Nike no chi, me, I can't make people live that way. Oh my God! Oh, Richard, where are the indigents of Coco? Oh my God, where are the people of Coco? 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 Hear me and give me an answer. Why is Coco still like this? Why is Coco still like this? Why is Coco still like this? Bushes became the flowers in Coco. Coco, Oga Rajishi, Uba, Najawe. Coco, what is happening? Coco people, answer me. What? I'm in Coco. I'm driving on the road. I'm on the road. I'm on the road. Outside, where Are you not seeing things happening outside? Where can you go to We told the riches. Me or 
Lord endowed you with. You rejected your maker. Oh my God, that took much belly for your God. Where is it? The Bible tells me against the devil okay. to a thief. Okay. It, it said a thief commit not okay. but to steal to kill and to destroy. The word that presented to you as the way it's the wrong person. I'm to show you the true person. And that is that will lead you to your maker. That will bring back the wealth of Coco. And the oil. The cream. No. Coco will, will, will be used in rubbing Coco's people's bodies. Even the people that eat the money, you don't even see it in their body. Because the devil is destroying it from them. Go, go, I'm talking to you. You better return to your maker. You better go to the true way. That will lead you. He would not know Coco again. Where were this and shall we do? But if you do not hack into this voice, that's where it will be. If you do not hear this voice, that's where not go. If you hack in your heart, woman, let the knee step back. Woman, for a shame. Step back. Woman, for a shame. Step back. Woman, for a shame. We will go with the blessing that we have brought. And now I do Bobo Santana. Where were you? to worship him mere refusing to worship him it's a sin that is even more than God wants that you think you are staying away from that's all Christ has sent us to you to let you know this and bring you back that he loves you come and worship your Lord you cannot say um, I don't commit evil that's enough for me when I go with you, wake up, you that you don't don't worship God at all is sin we are calling set of people who are very very righteous and who serve not the need to worship their maker wherever you are a boy a girl a man a woman an old do not say I was young, I did not worship God. That I'm old, what can I do again? No time! Any right? Any right? No time! Any right? Now that 
you are still breathing. Il avait pas que non miwe come to God. Wa abulishe. Whenever you are. Boku botu amaya. You koko person. I'm big koko. Whenever you are. Boku botu amaya. Bakpo umi. Come to God. Wa abulishe. I will worship my God. Wa abulishe. Come and join these people. Wa no wa 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 katiba. Many people are here already. Yagri yau boe. Do not let this crowd leave Coco without you. Come now. I will worship my God. Let me go to my God. Come now. To break the yoke that is against Coco. Wherever you are. At this music is going on. Wherever you are, you boy, girl, man, woman, be walking in gradually. Come and dancing. Ways will be open. On our pass through the ways. On that On way to win We are going to switch into prayer. If you want this blessing, woman fish away, you better walk in quietly. Honorably. Come and sit down honorably. And the music is going on. Somebody shout hallelujah.
said in their mind that I will go. I will go. They have heard that voice who says, Who will I send? And who will go for me? And they have distinguished themselves with all boldness to say before these people that Father, here am I, send me. So therefore, receive the grace to fulfill this call. Receive the power to fulfill this call. In the process of your propagation of the gospel, the Lord will prosper your life. The Lord will propagate your life. Every good thing will be propagated to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless your name for bringing them forward. Take the glory of their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Garden of Coco. And upon every son and daughter. And every person that lives in Coco. We've spread the blessings upon them. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the land of Coco receive this blessing. Amen. Let every bush around receive this blessing. Amen. Father, let every corner in Coco have these blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our God and our Father, your children have come unto you. Who is that that is fainting? Let that person receive life. Wherever he or she is. In anyone's body, all over the arena, I rebuke that pain, I rebuke that sickness, I rebuke that poison. Receive healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I put every sickness out of your body and I bury them. From tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, whoever, wherever you are, being a crusader or any indigen, you say, in Coco, I say, wherever you are hearing this voice, you are grafted into this healing. The power of this healing will reach you. I shall set you free. Yeah. Remain free from pains and sickness. Yeah. Remain free from all poisons. Yeah. Even as you stand now, any pain that is striving, die in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Any demon of sickness that is striving in any body, yeah, die in the name of Jesus. Come against every pain, sickness, poisons, and every illness by that wonderful name of Jesus and command that they all be dead from the body they are. This body is not your body. We refuse you for, from striving. In anybody, Amen. die Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are healed. Amen. Everyone that is sick right now, I pronounce and declare upon you, upon your body, God rain on sunshine, Amen. that you are healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you are healed. Father, we pray 
for those that are seeking the blessings of the fruit of the womb. I release upon you Amen. the power that is above yes. the power yes. that has been keeping you back from having your babies. Yes. Let the power and it's no other power but the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. I touch you with that power. Yes. I said I touch you with that power. Yes. That has not carried a baby. Receive the blessing of baby in the name of Jesus. And the entire members of the preaching group, Father, I lift their finances unto you. unto you in the name of Jesus and by the word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit you shall be led into your blessings whatever you do from now on shall begin to prosper no power shall hinder it anymore It is already opened unto you by the working of the miracle of God. You shall be led into where your blessing is in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Every spirit of death, oh, ye spirit of death, I command you. from these people yes. and run into abyss yes. and remain there forever. Yes. Never you remember them again. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. I use the blood of Jesus Christ yes. to block every way of death yes. from every one of us. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Every device is of the devil to cause death, to cause injury, to cause pain. I destroy them by the power of the cross in the name of Jesus. Holy Father, whatever is troubling your mind, whether crusaders, whether these that have just converted to God, whether anybody around, I just want you to use your mouth because Jesus Christ says, ask and you shall be given. Prayer is not, there is no any rule for it. Just talk. Say, God, now this thing they trouble me for mine do I beg do one for me God will hear you I am asking you in the name of Jesus Christ just talk to God like that that probability I say receive that which you have in the name of Jesus I say receive that which you have it's released unto you right now it's released upon your lives right now. It shall manifest in your life. The answer to this your prayer from tonight shall manifest in your life. God wants that you will experience right at this time. I say begin to experience it in Jesus name. And those ones that shall be later. 
I say it is there for you in Jesus name. You are all blessed in the name of Jesus. And so Father, I pray for the ruling, the ruling council of this community. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because these people and us are standing in the gap for this community. Let the community in this their time begin to experience a turnaround for a better life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And they and their children and their children's children shall enjoy this blessing. Amen. Father, we pray that you still stretch your benevolent hand. Amen. Your hands of love. Amen. And even as we live here, yes. oh God, bring other people to you. Amen. Bring other people to yourself. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let those that have come now have nothing in their life to regret their coming. Amen. Let them continue to praise your name Amen. by what shall be happening in their lives from now. Amen. Their lives are turned to a better way. Amen. I said your lives are turned already automatically Amen. from all your difficult ways Amen. onto a better way. Amen. You shall live a better life. Amen. From now on, yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Father, we bless your name. Yeah. And so, therefore, I commit the crusaders unto your hands. I bless your holy name. I praise your living hands. I praise your majesty. I praise your all seen eyes. I praise you, Father, for your many signs for your omnipresence and for all you are ubiquitous we praise oh god you for the clouds the living clouds that you place before and behind every vehicle of your children that led them here safely father and by tomorrow, we shall set on our way. Yeah. We shall not move unless you move in us. Yeah. Father, we shall not move unless you set that pillar of cloud by day. And the pillar of fire by night, before and behind every one of our vehicles, before and behind every one of us. We praise your majesty because we know you are not a wicked God. If you begin a thing, you bring it to a joyful conclusion. You brought us here safely. Amen. And so we are sure Amen. that you will take us home safely. Amen. Father, we know that you, you will take us home to meet our blessings. Amen. I know that, Father, as we live, we leave more blessings unto your children here. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every mishap on our journey on the way. I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. I mark every vehicle. I use the blood of Jesus Christ to make a sign of the cross on every vehicle that conveyed your children down here. And on every vehicle that your children shall enter even if it's one of us. That mark of the cross by the blood of Jesus Christ should be 
on that vehicle. Every power that causes accident, let them see the blood and pass over all. Amen.